my name is Mercia. My name's Virginia. I'm Maria. My name is Nat. Carol Fuller. Behind yoga, I wanted to improve my personal practice. Um, I certainly didn't come into the course with the intention of teaching. It was more something I was just doing for myself. Um, I wanted to do some more of a deep dive into yoga. Um, I've been teaching for a year now and I absolutely love it. Um, but Kathy being such an expert in exercise physiology and I have a background in physiology, so I was really keen to, to dive deep with her, gain from her knowledge and just get into the nitty gritty and the details of the postures. We thought it would just be a great experience to come with the other girls that were actually doing the course to be able to be a little bit more resourceful in techniques of how we do our breathing, um, yeah, stretches, although you know doing it once or twice a week has been really great. Out of the course I wanted to get a better understanding of Kathy's yoga method. I've been doing her classes for about a year. Really, really love the way that she structures her classes um, and I love the way she builds education into her classes as well, so you're always learning something. Friendship first up. Um, I knew some of the girls that were going and I, th I thought I could learn more about strength and conditioning and the yoga part of it from Kathy whilst I was here. So as a allied health exercise physiologist, um, working with patients and using yoga as a therapeutic modality, it became very clear to me that yoga was such a powerful portal for transformation and for healing. And for people coming into a yoga teacher training program, not only are they learning to teach yoga, but there's a huge component of self-reflection involved with the yoga teacher training course that allows people to really delve deeply, not only into the philosophies and the practice of yoga, but to really delve deeply into the study of themselves. Oh, look, I think it's a life skill. You know, if you could get everyone to learn yoga and the philosophy of like yoga, it's something that you've got for the rest of your life. It's a, it's a real genuine life skill that um, you will never lose. Oh, I can't, I can't iterate enough to do it. Whether you're a beginner at yoga, whether you're an experienced teacher, I think there's something for everyone. I've gained so much and everyone in the course has. It's such a well-rounded course and there are so many different yoga trainings out there and this one is just so solidly grounded in science and in just a wide diversity of Western knowledge as well as honoring the traditions of yoga and really doing justice to the roots of the practice. I think it's just phenomenal. I think it's been amazing, yeah. Well, just do it. You know, it's amazing. Even though I've known a few of the girls, you get to know people so much better because you're virtually doing everything together, almost 24 seven, except when you're sleepy. And um, yes, and Kathy's just organised it so well. You've got rest, bit of rest time, you're active, you're relaxing. We even went for a walk in the rainforest. It's just, it's been fantastic. And the food, we don't go on to the food. <laughs> We're all getting very big tummies. <laughs> uh, to be involved in a week of mind, body, spiritual, um, active, um, yes, just the communication with everyone that's involved, um, yeah, great camaraderie with everyone. I would, uh, I would definitely say that this course is good for anybody. Uh, there are people on this course who have booked in but never intended to teach. There are people who've been teaching, like me, for a long time. Uh, and there are others that just want to deepen their love and appreciation of yoga as a philosophy and a practice. So it's a great all-rounder, ticks lots of boxes. You tend to sort of lift yourself up and do things you've never done in your life, like a headstand. I have never, even as a child, done a headstand. And I've come here at the age of 79 and three quarters and done a headstand. I'm feeling more empowered than I thought I would be feeling before coming into the course. Like I've, I feel really confident with my yoga practice. Now I've met beautiful women in the course of all ages. You know, we've, we've got a lady that's 80, turns 80 this year, who's amazing. Did her first headstand yesterday. Um, and then we've, we've got younger ones that are you know, 30. It's just a really nice broad, I think we worked out we cover six generations and that's, that brings a different dynamic. 
Oh, I'm feeling great. This retreat has been beautiful, uh, so much more than I expected. Um, and yeah, I feel so much more empowered as a teacher. Uh, I've even had comments from my regular students and actually from my, my bosses at the studios I work at, how much my teaching has progressed, how much more clear my cueing is, how much deeper I've taken my teaching. And I think that's just all from the confidence and the knowledge I've gained on the course. So I feel really empowered, yeah. Well, it's kind of a bit sad, you know, because you spent, you, it's like you, you forget everybody else and it's just like you're in your own little world. And um, yes, it'll be sad, but it's it's definitely been worth it. You know, it's just made us all get so much yeah, closer and we, our yoga practices improve because we're learning more about why you do certain things. So it's been a really wonderful experience and I think anyone should give it a go. Yes, a little sad, not being able to be fed every day. <laughs> four, five meals a day. <laughs> um, yes, yes, but, but still enriched. Yeah, very enriched with a, you know, just the feeling of um, having finally had a first yoga retreat at this stage in your life. It's, it's just great, it feels fabulous, yes. Yeah, oh, really, really good. Yeah, I got everything I wanted out of the course and then some. So uh, yeah, really happy with the decision that I made to book in right at the start. And yeah, really excited about what's coming as well. Sad, <laughs> but also uplifted. Um, I'll continue on this course until I rest in peace. Yoga for the rest of my life, yeah. It'll be a lifelong habit of mine. Yeah, not just a hobby, it'll be a habit. Yeah, it's, it's ingrained in me now and I'll have that for the rest of my life, which I'm forever thankful for. I will carry, I hope, friendships <laughs> because I love all the women that have um, done the course with me as well as mentorship from Cathy because she's like the best. <laughs> yeah, probably that. Oh, I think, yeah, just the friendship. And um, and just Kathy, the way she just works so hard to get, you know, just to make sure everyone's comfortable and happy. And she's such such a caring person, you know. She's got that much to give. She's just amazing. Yeah, just I guess the connection to everybody, and we're all one, really. You know, there's no better moves, better um, people whether they're connected better to yoga or not, doesn't matter what level of yoganess that you're up to. It's just, yeah, yeah, whatever you feel is just what you do and how you do it, yeah, and it feels good. Mm. After a retreat, I will carry with me uh, relationships that I've made here that go deep and I hope to maintain for a really long time. The main thing is that Whatever you do, try harder and you'll, ach and you'll achieve more. The theme of the retreat was solidification and integration, like to really step out of their lives and immerse themselves in the philosophy, the teachings of yoga. But we also really wanted to bring this out of self-care. And it's just been really beautiful to see women that cover six different decades coming together. And that age is no barrier, right? Within the wisdom tradition, um, within the yogic tradition, and um, yeah, just the essence of self-healing, self-care, and community.